Hello guys, welcome to Merge Benz King. Today we are in Valencia in Spain with the all new Smart and next to me I have Gordon Wagner, Chief Design Officer of Mercedes-Benz. Hey, good to see you. Hello Hi. guys. We will have a look at the full interior, exterior and the quality inside. So let's talk about the front of the car. Yeah, the new Smart is now an all-electric brand and in fact we also have the one and only all-electric convertible cabriolet. Uh, here you can see the coupe, it's a nice um, our edition one available in the first year. Very cool outfit with the grey paint and the black accent and you can immediately see um, the, the car is much more sportier than before. Most significant, um, new headlamps and a low grille. This is kind of the original smart face where when you remember generation one, the grill was down there, the headlamps were up there. So we're bringing back more of the true smart identity and then with the big grill on the street, we make it more sporty in this edition. Yes, and it used to have the smart emblem, right? Now it has the smart lettering. Let's talk about the details of the front. Yeah, um, there's actually really cool details. You see the grill is in this glossy black uh, color. It's almost like a smartphone, like a display. So very new, very tacky. And then you see cool uh, details like the sporty fog lamps. You want to give an additional accent. But what I see over there are aerodynamic gaps, right? Yeah, um, this is an aerodynamic feature. You see my hand going that through. Makes... And nicely this insert with the red stripe and the black paint here. Um, I think it's a cool sporty feature as well as this little wing down here almost reminds a bit of AMG here on this sport version. So let's go over to the side of the car because this is of course yeah. the 4.2. Yeah, you see we, we kept uh, the short 2 meters 70 to make you know all the advantages of, of parking and so a smart has. Um, but you see new rims here in, in this line, especially in the edition one. I really like it with the blacked out multi-spoke rims and the Brabus emblem. Yeah, the black rims, black wheels, black parts. If we move over to the to the rear, also there's a new identity in the rear of the car. If you can see uh, these uh, rear lamps here with these four sectors gives a very significant signature from, for Smart on the street. One of them, the outside one is the indicator, the other one is uh, the, the normal rear projection. It's very cool that the indicator is integrated into the tail light with a triangle and it also has the Smart emblem I see, right Gordon? Yeah, and then some cool details like you see here the rear diffuser with this uh, accents with red and black in this edition one. Again, available in the first year. That's an amazing design. So let's have a look at the 4.4. Actually, uh, this car is different. Uh, so we wanted to give each of the two uh, an own character. So in fact, uh, our 4.4 uh, is a very unique uh, person and has an independent front end design. And when you look at the grill of the car, you see it's tilted that way. The two door comes with a smile, the typical smart face. But this one is a bit more determined, a bit more angry, a bit more sportier even. Sits nicely on the street and makes that car more driver agile. So I think um, it's a very cool differentiation. It's both the new identity for smart, but in, in two different versions. Yes. And I also see the fog lights. It's also new for the facelift. And furthermore, in the center, it has a gap and that is for the recuperation so that the car knows the distance in front of it and it can brake with the motor and charge the engine. Yeah, and again, uh, in the sport lines you get a contrast with the grill. So the grill is black and is a bit more sporty looking, but you can also get it in body color. So it's all like flush integrated, very tech, very modern, um, in order to emphasize that it is an electric car. So it's clean uh, and the design expresses that. So that's an amazing design, Gordon. Let's go to the interior. Yeah, let's do that. So you see, this is a completely new um, impression here in the interior. We get new sporty parts like this carbon trim, it's printed. Uh, we get a new center console where you can store your drinks and have additional functionality here with the USB ports. But most importantly is the new HMI here with a larger screen. And in fact, you can connect your smartphone here with Apple CarPlay um, or Android Auto. So this car really becomes a rolling smartphone. So that's basically your phone fully integrated into the car. 
Well, thanks, Gordon Wagner. Welcome, pleasure. And now we will take the Smart for our drive, and not this one, but the very exclusive. We will take the convertible in the city, and we will test the parking capabilities. So let's go. So here we are, guys, with the Smart 4.2 Cabrio in Valencia at the City of Art Center. And I have to mention again, Smart is the first ever brand to fully change into the electric. And like mentioned before by Gordon Wagner, this grille is in the color of the body. So let's take the Smart 4 drive in the city and we will see how agile it is. And of course, it's also a cabrio. So let's go, guys. So with this new facelift, Smart tries to conquer the European market as well as the Chinese market. So they completely redesigned it. The interior, for example, now has better materials. It's more fancy with the wood as an option. And also the ambient lighting here in the center. Furthermore, it has the new navigation system with access to Apple CarPlay and the Android apps. It's an amazing city, Valencia. A lot of colorful buildings. And very crowded. But one thing is for sure, they don't have a lot of parking spots. So let's take a left turn and we will find our parking spot. The car that you see here will cost around 25,000 euros. And the range of the Smart 4.2 EQ is around 130 kilometers. Realistically, it will be around 15 kilowatt per 100 kilometers. So as you can see, it is raining a little bit. So I will close the roof by pressing this button and the funny thing is you can close and open it at any speed. So it's not limited to 50 kilometers an hour or 60. You can also drive 100 and still open the roof. It looks like Chinese New Year. Probably the year 4000. Smart has gone fully electric. This has a 17.6 kilowatt hour battery and it charges from 10% to 80% in just 40 minutes. So that's quite impressive. This Cabrio version goes from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just 11.9 seconds. And the power is instantly, so if you're standing still, you push the gas pedal, the, the throttle, and there it goes. So let's take a right turn. So let's try to park somewhere, guys. 
So there's a spot here on the left. Let's take it. Put it in reverse. A camera appears. And as you can see, it's very easy and agile. You do have to watch the curbs, of course, and the tow bar. And it fits so easy. So that was too easy, guys. Let's try something else. Let's go. Perfect guys. So thanks for watching Merce Benz King. I hope you like this video with the smart of Daimler and the design of Gordon Wagner. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.